Hi, my name's K-Wing, the real Game Master. I make Captain N look like a casual gamer. I review games like no one else, with 80 reviews under my belt and counting. Now that you know who I am, it's time for me to start this review. Welcome to Review 81, Mega Man 9 for the WiiWare, PlayStation Network, and Xbox 360. Alright, it's time that we jump into the story of this game, folks. Dr. Wily has always been nothing but trouble, but for several years, everything seemed peaceful. Then one day, robots started going wild all over the world. Could this be the handiwork of the evil Dr. Wily? Elsewhere, at Dr. Light's laboratory, Mega Man and the Doctor are watching the TV when all of a sudden a news bulletin interrupts their peaceful afternoon. Dr. Light's robots have gone crazy. Then Wily pirates the broadcast to tell the world it isn't his doing and that Dr. Light is behind this, and that he'll stop Dr. Light for a price. It's up to Mega Man to save the world once again. Concept for this game. The whole point of Mega Man 9 is for Mega Man to clear Dr. Light of all charges and prove that once again, this was Dr. Wily's doing. But before you can actually face Dr. Wily, Mega Man has a lot of work cut out for him. Now if you're new to Mega Man, and I'm sure a lot of you are, before you can actually fight Dr. Wily, you have to fight eight Robot Masters. Now what's great about the Mega Man series is you can choose to fight any Robot Master at any given time, at the level select screen. However, keep in mind that there is a smart way to pick what Robot Masters to fight and when, but I'll talk about that more later in this review. Now each Robot Master has their own world that you have to travel to. At the very end of the stage is where the Robot Master is lying in wait for the player. Then after finally defeating the Robot Master, Mega Man copies or steals their powers. This is the whole point of the Mega Man series. These weapons that you acquire are very important for later in the game, as to defeat other bosses and to make your way through the game. Moving on to the controls for this game. Since this is an old school style game, you only have to worry about two buttons. The one button will actually fire, and the two button will cause Mega Man to jump. To change weapons or bring up the pause menu, hit the plus button. Since this is a classic NES style game, the Wiimote is tailor made for this game. Talk about a perfect match. Using different weapons is really what makes this game a lot of fun and easier to play too. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what the Mega Man games, at least the classic ones, have always been about. Alright, time for the design for this game. The old NES Mega Man games boasted some of the best level design of the golden years of gaming. Mega Man 9 is no different. Still, if Mega Man 9 released back in the 90s, it easily would have been the best game on the NES. With level design that would make Return of the Joker jealous. Anyway, the developers really wanted to go back to Mega Man's roots with the ninth game in the series. What's amazing is how big of a strength this tends to be for this game. Although I still hear a lot of 360 and PS3 gamers complaining that the game is 8-bit instead of 3D like the new Bionic Commando game. However, there is just something about this game's design that is so appealing to old school gamers like me. I have no beef that this game is 8-bit, and my favorite boss stage is Magma Man stage. Time for the music and sound for this game. Part of the charm of the Nintendo Entertainment System games back in the day was their amazing music. Mega Man 9 is no slacker in that department either, folks. It's almost like you're transported back to the late 1980s, but in a good way. I actually liked all the music in this game, and I am really, really looking forward to the musical arrangement CD later this year. Until then, I do have Tornado Man's theme on my MP3 player. I absolutely love that song. The Wily stages, they're not too bad either. Alright, moving on to the history for this game. Hard to believe it's been 21 years since the public first met the Blue Bomber on the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1987. Man, those were the days. I mean, if you were a Mega Man fan, that is. Like, almost every year a new Mega Man game would hit the NES. Okay, so some of them may not be considered the cream of the crop, but they're all pretty great games. Well, with the exception of Mega Man 8, that is. Unless you're playing it on the Sega Saturn, see? 1998 was the last official Mega Man game in the canon. Ten years later, Mega Man 9 did come out, but this is not to be confused with Mega Man and Base, which is a continuation of Mega Man 8, but it's not Mega Man 9. Anyway, Mega Man 9 almost feels like a continuation of Mega Man 2. I mean, look at the comparison here. 
you see Metal Man here, and then boom, here comes Tornado Man, but the background is pretty much the same thing. And that's not saying that copying Mega Man 2 is a bad thing, because Mega Man 2 was an amazing Mega Man game, and Mega Man 9 is just as fun and practically as hard as Mega Man 2. I mean, that's something. The box art was a throwback to the first Mega Man games in the US. Here you can see what the game would have looked like if it actually came out in 1987. That was made by Capcom, by the way. Now, Mega Man 9 offers lots of content like challenges, rankings, time attack, and downloadable content. That's right, folks, in October, you can play as Proto Man, the same crew who actually brought us Mega Man 2, 3, 4, and 5 made Mega Man. Capcom planned to release this as a WiiWare exclusive because of the majority of the retro gamers download on the Wii Virtual Console, but in July they said Sony and 360 would be getting it too. New to the original series is a Robot Master female, Splash Woman. She's a mermaid and has the coolest weapon in the game, the Trident. Now Mega Man 9 feels like the Mega Man games of old in every single detail, from the gameplay, graphics, music, and the difficulty. Still, if you really want to play this game the way Capcom made it, then you will have to download it for your Nintendo Wii for 1,000 Wii points. Then sit back and relax and let the nostalgia wave take over. Long live 8-bit games! Time for the tips and strategies for this game. 